Hello, everybody. I can see hello, everybody, and in Instagram. And just waiting to see everybody in Facebook. Yes, hello. We are live on both places again. Yay, second week in a row I've done this. Pretty proud of myself. <laughs> hello, everyone. My name is Ali Sugars and I'm the Motivation Mama. And welcome, welcome to this Monday Magic webinar. Uh, very excited to have you here. Welcome to a new week. Welcome to a new month. Um, uh, you've probably heard a lot of people say this. I can't believe it is February already. Um, where the heck did January go? <laughs> I just need to ask, where the heck did January go? Anyway, we are going to talk today about confidence. We're going to talk all about this word and we are going to dive really deep into what the word confidence means, right? So I just want to start off by asking you the question, um, when you think of the word confidence, what does it mean to you? What automatically comes to your mind? I would love you to let me know in the comments. Um, it's just, um, you know, it's something really interesting um, where a lot of people can have a very, very different perspective. So if you're watching the, the replay, put hashtag replay and let me know what, what you think, what comes to your mind when you think of the word confidence, right? When I personally think of the word confidence, and this is probably uh, more to the point of how I used to think about it, right? When I used to think of the word confidence is um, it meant to me, um, being stable in my abilities with absolute certainty. So much so that I was excited to let everybody else know that I was proud of myself, you know, I was feeling pretty good at myself, good, uh, what am I <laughs> feeling pretty good about myself and to the point where I just, I wanted to let everybody know, you know, it was in particular areas. It wasn't always in um, life in general, which we'll get to. Um, but, you know, here's, here's the rub though. For me, when I was feeling confident about something, I would be worried that people would see that confidence as arrogance, right? Or that I was portraying myself as an arrogant person out there. And what that did was because I was afraid of people portraying me as that type of person, it, I would inadvertently um, hide. <laughs> I wouldn't openly express or openly show my confidence. So it's a bit of a conundrum, right? <laughs> but when you think about that, and when I think about that, I start to go, well, is that really confidence? It's kind of like a thought. It's one of those thoughts for me personally that goes round and round in my head. You know? So that's my, and that has been my personal thoughts in the past about what confidence really means. So today, as I said, we're going to dive in deep as to what it really truly means, right? So I've looked up quite a number of dictionary definitions and they're, they're, quite, they're different, but they're the same. So I've got two different ones here for you today. So the first one says confidence is our belief in our ability to carry out a specific task or um, our belief in people, plans or the future. So let me read that again. So it says Confidence is belief in our ability to carry out a specific task or in our belief in people, plans or the future. So that's one definition. Now, a different interpretation of the word confidence is that confidence is a feeling of trust and firm belief in yourself or others. So a person walks into a room smiling at everyone and not at all nervous about a speech that she's about to give. And we can see that she has confidence, right? So if you look at those two different definitions alone, just those two, and as I said, there are many, <laughs> um, you can see that there, there are two types of confidence. 
So there is self-confidence or self-esteem. And then there's the confidence that we have in other people, right? And today, what I really want to get deep into talking about is self-confidence in, you know, confidence in ourselves. So we can, we can even make um, distinctions. And I mentioned these two words before. We can make the distinctions between self-confidence and self-esteem. Right. So self-confidence, what that does is it, it talks about how we feel about our abilities and self-esteem refers to how we feel about ourselves. Like, you know, so like our, our self-worth or how we feel about our values in life. OK. Um, and I want to refer to so we get, we're going to refer to both of those today and I'm going to put them under the general term of self-confidence, right? So self-confidence and self-esteem. And you can even break it down a little bit further. <laughs> so I told you, we're getting deep today. You can break it down a little bit further. And you can talk about um, two different types of self-confidence. So there's general self-confidence, which is, you know, like um, people who, who are kind of like, you know, they're generally self-confident. They don't focus on, on, on the negativity. And they, they normally, will, we will normally have a usual, um, a quite a positive outlook on life, right? They have a very high self-esteem. And, you know, this is like, they, they also have quite a, a high self-worth. So they're not, you know, it's just like they, they love themselves and not in an arrogant way. They've just got this general self-love and they're comfortable with it. Um, mostly people with quite a lot of general self-confidence, they're, they're going to be open to taking more risks in life. Very, very much so, right? Because they just have this sense that they can handle that any problem uh, that comes their way. It's just the sense that they have about themselves. You know, they, they don't question it. They don't question their abilities. They just have a, a confidence in themselves that they're, that, that they're okay. They're good, right? Then there is specific self-confidence. So self-confidence in a specific area, right? Um, so, you know, they've got self-confidence um, in, say, a job that they do. Or that they, <clears throat> excuse me, that they they're good at studying, right? But they've they got self confidence in this one area. But when you look at their life in general, um, they might not be um, an openly, you know, a self confident person in general. And let me, I'm going to use myself as an example here because you know that's what I like to do, <laughs> right? So when I was when I had a career as a receptionist that spanned over a, a about a 15 year period i was very confident in that role as a receptionist you know i would get great reviews from my bosses i would get great feedback from the clients i was confident that when i stepped into that role as a receptionist i really knew what i was doing right i loved my job but outside of that, you know, I was dealing with things such as, you know, I was um, a single mum. I was dealing with divorce, you know. Um, there was, I was dealing with, with ongoing depression. There was a lot of things happening outside of that role as a receptionist where my life in general, I wasn't really self-confident in that in, in those areas, in all the other areas of my life. So I had specific self-confidence at work, but when it came to general self-confidence, no, <laughs> I really didn't. So that's kind of the distinction between the two, you know. If you're, if you're thinking, you know, is there somewhere, is there a specific place in your life at the moment where you're feeling confident, but you're not feeling confident in general, in life, let me know. Again, pop your comments. So this this might this next bit might seem obvious, you know. So we're going to look at why <laughs> we, we, we need self-confidence. So what are the benefits to us? And you might be going, well, that's obvious, Ellie. But, you know, we're here to, to dig into it. 
today. So there, there's, there's 12 different ways and 12 different reasons that it's good. It's great to have self-confidence, right? The first one is that we have a more positive attitude. And, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a positive attitude on life in general. And it, it kind of, um, this positive attitude kind of helps us feel like we've, we've got a meaningful place in the world. You know, um, we're here, uh, we're here to give, and it's just a real good feeling, a sense of purpose, if you like, right? A really good sense of purpose in the world. And which kind of leads into the next one. So feeling valued. Who doesn't want to feel valued? You know, when I was in my workplace, I knew I was, I had confidence in what I was doing. I felt absolutely valued because everyone used to tell me I was good at what I did, right? And when we have that self-confidence and we start to in, enjoy that feeling of feeling valued, we, you know, it's the, it's just, um, it's just a, a great place to sit in and relax into but we don't want it to be just specific in that one area you know we want to take it to to all areas and we want to make it into a general self-confidence in life don't we i think everyone wants that oh my goodness this is one of my absolute favorites right confidence can be sexy <laughs> oh imagine that confidence can be sexy and not not in an arrogant um, I love myself, look at me way, but it, it can, you know, um, you know, when you just, you're just feeling really, really good about yourself, you know, you've got your hair's looking good, your makeup's looking great, you're walking down the street and maybe a total smile, a total stranger smiles at you. How cool is that feeling when that happens, right? Especially when it's a bit of a flirty smile. That's always good too, you know. <laughs> you gotta love them. This actually happened to me. Um, oh, it was a good few years ago now, and I, I think what was happening at the time was I was just starting to come into my relationship with Craig, who's my partner now, and I was feeling obviously I was quite confident about myself. Was feeling good about myself, and I remember being in um, the supermarket aisle, and this guy came in, turned into the aisle, and he gave me this really flirty smile and I was like oh okay then you know I, and I it's again it's not in an arrogant way but it was just the feeling of man what am I I must be putting something uh really good out there I must be putting putting a confident really positive vibe out there to get that kind of reaction from a total stranger it, when it was a flirty smile it was great and it made me feel good <laughs> it really did so confidence can be sexy uh, of course, it can reduce our negative thoughts. Of course, it can reduce our negative thoughts. You know, we build our self confidence as we do that. There's we we get freedom from from self doubt. You know, which is the opposite opposite of self confidence, and it reduces that that bloody annoying negative self talk that happens up here. And as as you know, if you've been following me for a little while, I call it the itty bitty shitty committee. <laughs> um, but you know, self confidence really helps with reducing that that inner negative voice of ours right it also helps us work well and um, to be better or be our best under stress like when you look at people um, when you look at athletes when you look at musicians when you look at actors um, you know, they'll, they'll all tell you when you ask them, they'll all tell you that it's really important to have a really high level of self-confidence um, and to be able to to perform well, to get out there and perform well. You know, they're, they're doing this in front of other people as well. So it's like they they kind of have to have that that level of self-confidence to be able to get out there, <laughs> do that and and show people that that's how they feel right and with athletes i mean you know we're coming up to the olympics this year so athletes they have to um have this self-confidence to be able to live up to their to their highest potential to be able to perform their absolute best when it counts the most you know so it does help you work well under stress you know and and like taking it down a notch like you know i'm not an athlete but uh, you know, I had to do I had to do an exam 
um, I think it was uh, about a week ago, about a week and a half ago now, you know. Um, now I went into, it was a bit of a stressful situation because that's what exams can be, right? But I went into this exam with, with self-confidence that I knew my stuff, you know. It wasn't an arrogant I knew my stuff, it was just that I've got this, you know. I'm confident I've got this. And I passed the exam. I, I lived up to my potential because I had self-confidence in that specific area. Um, oh yes, so confidence it helps us to be more fearless and it really does, right? It, it helps us to be more willing to take risks, you know, um, to, for us to step outside of our comfort zone. And that is so true, right? Um, if, if I think back to when I first started doing Facebook lives, uh, I wasn't in it. I wasn't so, I wasn't confident at all. You know, for me to do a five minute Facebook live, even a two minute Facebook live <laughs> was really scary. And I was scared to take that risk because I was still growing in my self-confidence at the time. Um, but now, you know, I've had to uh, take those risks to get to the point now where, um, you know, I can come on and do a half hour live webinar, you know, where I can, I can do all types, I can hold meetups, you know, there's all these types of things. Now, again, this, I don't, this isn't meant to sound arrogant, but I've had to build up my self-confidence to be able to get to these places. And I've had to take risks to do that. So as my self-confidence has grown, and then this will happen to you as well. Tell me if it has happened to you. As your self-confidence grows, you uh, the, the fear kind of decreases and you're willing, you, you become more willing to take those risks and put yourself out there. Or oh, this is a big one for me too. So having greater freedom from social anxiety. Oh my goodness, yes. Absolutely, right? Um, it kind of helps you um, take away the concern about what others may think of you. And it, this is so true. I was doing, um, late last week, I was doing some self-development. And one of the exercises that we had to do was to, it was a visualization exercise, right? So what I did was I was picturing myself walking into a, like a, I don't know, like a networking event, whatever you want to call it, um, and how people would react to me. And it was amazing what I visualized. So I, I visualized three different versions of Ali. So the first version was Ali walking into the room and kind of really hunched over, you know, head down, dark clothes, um, and hiding. You know, it was a clearly self conscious version of me. Um, and I would, you know, wait up the back of the room for people to come to me. Then the second version was an overconfident alley, which was quite uh, jarring for me to realise. So what it was, was me walking into a room and because of that lack of self-confidence that I had, I was overcompensating. I was walking in, I was too loud, you know, I was walking up to people and I was kind of forcing my way in. It was like, here I am world. It was over the top, um, overcompensating, as I said. Then there was the third version. And uh, let me just say too, that second version was like, you know, um, and this is the jarring thing of that actually was what I realized was the more I was overcompensating, that actually meant what that meant for me was the, the, the worse I felt inside. So, the more doubt in myself that I had, if that makes sense. So the, the third version of Ali, I thought was really, really interesting. And this was my favorite. This was just Ali being Ali. The third version was, you know, me walking in, it was kind of like just sitting shoulders back, you know, not an arrogant kind of here I am type of thing, but it was like just, standing up straight, shoulders back, walking into a room, just being me, just being Ali. It was like, you know, I'm feeling good about myself. And if you would like, you know, um, it was it was like the people who were meant to be drawn to me 
to come and talk to me, they were the ones that were going to be drawn to me. So this is what I, I mean when I say self-confidence can give you freedom from social anxiety. Um, and that visualization for me was, was something really interesting to, to see those three different versions. Um, Self-confidence can give us positive energy and motivate us to take action. That's a good thing. <laughs> it really does, you know, it helps you to, to achieve our personal and our professional goals. It helps us to achieve our dreams. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> um, the, more, the more highly motivated that we become, the more likely we are to want to take that action. You know, the more we just get, we just get so more motivated to do it. And this is, this is kind of why I call myself like the motivation mama, right? I love, I love to motivate people. I love to motivate them to take their own positive action. And I love to watch, watch these beautiful ladies achieve their goals. I get so much satisfaction out of watching these ladies achieve their goals. You know, I watch them. It's like a knock-on effect, right? Okay, I watch them achieve their goals and become confident in themselves, which helps me, helps my self-confidence grow because I've helped them grow their self-confidence. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's, it's, an, it's awesome. It's just a really good place to be. And of course, you know, self-confidence helps us with happiness, you know, which um, if you look at confident people out there, they, they just tend to be to be in a much happier space, right? With their lives, with themselves, and it's lovely to watch. Getting promoted. Oh my goodness. So, you know, have you ever tried to walk in to ask your boss for a promotion where you're just feeling like shit about yourself? <laughs> you know? um, the more, if you walk into their office with confidence, of course it's more likely that you're going to get promoted right? I wish that, that I had known all this stuff back um, several years ago when I was going in and I was applying for promotions. Um, I, in hindsight now, I went about it all the wrong way and that's okay, but I had wish, I wish that I had known what I know now about my own self-confidence to be able to walk into those meetings and maybe I would have gotten the promotions um, easier than the way I did. That's okay, it's all hindsight, doesn't matter. <laughs> and kind of leading on from that, you know, self-confidence helps us to influence other people. Um, you know, and this this really helps, you know, again, with, with um, promotions, it helps with negotiations, whether they're at home <laughs> with your children, self-confidence helps with negotiations with your children, trust me. Um, it helps with sales in business, um, it, it helps with, you know, uh, the workplace, negotiations in the workplace. It, it really helps us to um, be able to influence others, not, you know, kind of talk them into things, but we're confident because we're expressing ourselves confidently, um, people will sense that. People can, it, it will guide people. Um, so it really does help us influence other people and rolling on from that, what it also does is it helps with leadership. You know, it gives us, you know, if you are in a, um, leadership position, of course we need self-confidence. Like, you know, if you, if you look at our politicians out there, you know, and I'm not a political person, <laughs> please don't think I am, but can, can you imagine if our prime minister, for example, didn't have self-confidence. I mean, this dude runs the country, you know, he's got to have a fair whack of self-confidence to be able to do that. And then, you know, lead a party and then lead the country, right? And with this presence of leadership, this kind of rolls into a whole other topic, which is, you know, how you present yourself. And I've even mentioned this a couple of times earlier today, how you present yourself with your body language, you know, how you act, how you carry yourself, how you stand, how you use your voice even, you know, like I was saying, those three different versions of Ali, there's the quiet, the loud, the over the top, and then there's just the, she's chill, she's good Ali, the, the, the normal Ali. <laughs> so that presence, Self-confidence can really help with that presence of leadership. 
So those are those are, and there's many more that I could go on with today, but we don't have time. But those are the, the benefits of self-confidence, you know, when you have it. So, you know, the, it's great, you know, it's great to have these things, obviously. But of course, we all have times when we struggle, right? With with many or or everything that I've mentioned today. We all have times, you know, I've I've had times, I still have times when I struggle with self-confidence. Um, you know, times when when we let comparisonitis get in our way because we see other people succeeding in areas that, that we, we may want to succeed in, but we're not succeeding in them, right? Um, and that, that course of allows our own self-confidence to suffer. That's when we tend to shrink back in ourselves, you know. We say things to ourselves like, oh my God, I wish I could be like her. I wish I could be like that person. She is so amazing at what she does. Um, or, you know, why, why we could say, oh, why can't I be like that person? Or I'll never be as good as she is. These are the types of things that our itty bitty shitty community, our little inner, negative inner voice starts to say to ourselves. And because of this, when this happens, and I can tell you this from experience, when this happens, we hide. We shrink back into ourselves, you know. Um, it's... It's just that, and this is when we just display to the world this total lack of self-confidence, you know. But guess what? We, we, sh we shouldn't and we don't. We don't, 100%, we do not have to feel like this. Because every single one of us girls, every single one of us has a right to stand up, to accept ourselves as the beautiful woman that we are, you know. We're, we're all individuals, we're all different in our own ways and that's great and we've all got every single one of us every single one of you has got so much to offer to the world it's just a matter of of working on your own confidence you know and getting to the point where you can just be proud of yourself where you can stand in your strength as that amazing human as that amazing woman that you are and you can actually get to the point where you just want to say well here i am <laughs> Imagine getting to that place. Imagine that. So if you're in a place, if you, you know, if you're watching this and you're in a place right now where, where you feel like you're kind of hiding and you're shrinking back and all that comparisonitis stuff is coming in because of your lack of self-confidence, you know, if if you have that that doubt in yourself, but you really want to experience all of that stuff that I mentioned before, you know, if you want to experience all of those benefits of self-confidence, um, I would love to invite you to my half day workshop. It's a free event. It goes for uh, about three hours and it's coming up this Saturday. And guess what, ladies, it's called Awaken Your Confidence. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> so what we've done today, you know, we, we've talked a lot about, um, what self-confidence is, um, you know, why you should have self-confidence. But what I want to do at this half-day workshop is I'll lead you through, you know, what it's going to take to develop that confidence in yourself. And, it, you know, there's some powerful techniques that I'll share with you at this workshop. So again, uh, you know, if you would like to attend, it is completely free. And it is this Saturday, which is the 6th of February. And it go, starts at 10 a.m. on uh, 10 a.m. Adelaide time. I have to get the time differences correct. So Adelaide, day, Adelaide Central Daylight Savings Time. So 10 a.m. Adelaide time. Again, completely free. It's called Awaken Your Confidence. And uh, we, if you... If you would like to attend, let me know and we will um, we'll be in touch and let you know how you can book tickets for that. So we would love to see you there, beautiful ladies. Um, it would be wonderful to have you join me. And I just want to wish you all an incredible week ahead. You know, the first week of February, as I said, I cannot believe that February is here already. But uh, it is, you know, it's turning out to be an incredible year. Maybe not the year that everyone expected it to be, but there are, you know, there's so much positives going on in the world as well. And that's what, you know, that's what I want to continue to focus on. So look forward to seeing you next week for our next Monday Magic webinar, beautiful people. And um, I will also see you on Saturday at the Half Day Workshop Awaken Your Confidence. 
All right, everyone, have a fantastic week ahead. Bye. Mwah.